Today, taking the age old recipe of throwing together an old kid's bike, some, some plumbing, an engine, some go kart parts, tractor bits, and some motorcycle pieces somewhere in there. And we bake a delicious cake of fun. So, I'm gonna get to it. So first things first, let's kind of get all the stuff out of the boxes. See what we got. Kind of lay it out and get it mapped out the way it's going to be built. So as I'm over here unpacking all those parts, I just want to break in and say that this uh, drift trike was a pretty fun build that I did last year at the end of 2019. And it's just taken me all this time, you know, now being September of 2020, to actually get towards the editing process. So what I'm gonna do, it took about two months to build the drift trike overall, but it actually was only seven days worth of me physically working on it. So I'm gonna release one video per day, each day this week of each physical day that I've worked on it. This is something I've been looking forward to putting out for a while now, so I hope you enjoy it. So I'm thinking that's pretty much the back half. Uh, probably thinking about raising the seat up above the chain um, or the sprocket. It does raise the center of gravity Whereas, you know, having it down on the ground is, is what I've seen most people do. But it'll work as a, a chain guard and it'll, you know, make it a little easier to put your feet out without having too long of uh, runners, whatever. So we've got enough sunlight to try and get in a time lap on this thing, see how it goes. So, maybe just one time lap. Normally I do three, average them together. If I seem to remember this being fun, it is not fun. Oh, that's awful. So let's see if we can cut this thing up add a go-kart rear end to it try to make it a little more fun all right so we're going to base the rear part of the frame off of kind of the axle dimensions we'll have the two rows coming down for the engine we'll have the two sides for the bearing plates and then they'll connect kind of in the middle on the bigger bar which is going to go through the tube on the bicycle frame.
All right, I've got to separate the front from the back of this thing so that we can start getting the frame all set the way it needs to be. Alright, so it's pretty much mocked up the way it's going to be. Got some spacers to pick it up off the ground to about the same height that those will be. So that the back part of the frame will be even. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find the center point for the tube on the bicycle frame. And then I'm going to make a center point for this bar, which may get cut off later. But for now, I'm just going to go with the center point of it. and weld that together so that I can work back from there and we'll basically just measure from the center line out so that everything the seat and the engine will be mounted towards the center and then these will be an even spacing apart out from there so that should be the next step once we get the frame lined up welded together then we'll actually start putting the pieces on and making a mount for the seat uh, which will just be some raised pieces of pipe to more than likely to come up and then bolt on uh, I don't know we'll, I'll figure that out when I get to it
and at that point I ran out of daylight so I did some welding off camera. I'll be here tomorrow for day two. Thanks for watching.